Morning. Good it's morning. Um, it's currently I think it's about quarter to ten to six in the morning, and we're going to see the sunrise over Broken Hill. Alrighty, so excuse the noise of the Mag juvenile magpies, um, but today what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the Living Desert's sculptures. And that are actually right next to us. We live close to those sculptures, which is pretty, pretty gnarly. Yeah, pretty gnarly. <laughs> pretty gnarly. Yeah, so we're going to go see the sculptures and then we're going to Silverton where Mad Max was filmed and many other major things. There's two. Oh my god. They're so Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Really didn't want to see the kangaroos anymore. I always cry when I see kangaroos. It's like the best thing ever. <laughs> it's so beautiful. We're so lucky. Nature is wonderful. Okay. Let's go to the sculptures and then solve the thing. It's a, an amazing start to the day. I'm so happy. So from what I understood from this place is this guy called Beck uh, wanted to add some more sculptures to Broken Hill because there was already a lot of paintings. So they gathered those multiple artists from all, all around the world to build this symposium basically. And these were built in 1993. All these sculptures were inspired by what's around us basically it's beautiful it's really abstract and also you can see that the sculptures were sculpted by the wind as well with the years can i say that it's an amazing place to go i would totally recommend it and it's free no. huh? no, it's not. It's oh no it's not free <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not free that's a lie it's a six dollars entry fee for this old national park and the view is just amazing now that we've had the opportunity to see these amazing sculptures in real life we're now on our way to the wonderful little town of Silverton where Mad Max was filmed and that's the only thing I know about it <laughs> Silverton is like the ancestor of Broken Hill basically so before they discovered Broken Hill um, there were already people living in Silverton it was about 3,000 wasn't it? about 3,000 people were in Silverton before they... Oh. I wouldn't bet on those numbers, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I believe it was also an, another large mining town. So, yeah. here we go again. We made a friend and we're going to visit Silverton with him. We're going to start by some outdoor activities, I think, and then we're going to hit the Mad Max Museum because it was cheap, only $10 per, $10 per adult. Hayden developed a passion to say hi to other van lifers. Hayden just came up with the name of this association. The name of this association is the Outback Drivers Appreciation Association. Obda. <laughs> you should probably pronounce it Obda. 
Upon reflection, I realised that Outback is actually one word and not two. So it's just Uda. That's a huge. Yeah, Outback Drivers Appreciation Association. Uda. So far, I'm actually really liking this town, even though it's kind of small. Literally, you can walk around the entire thing in like five minutes. But it's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's nice, it's cozy. Okay, so <laughs> the jail was short lived. We would have gone to the jail and been there for a little bit, but um, it's cash only and we are city slickers and have no cash. So after the jail that we couldn't visit, we went to the local pub and hotel Silverton. and restaurant. Silverton Hotel. Silverton Hotel to grab a beer and some food. And now we're heading back to Broken Hill, but before we're gonna step into a, an art gallery. Which Talking about art gallery, there's uh, this art gallery in Silverton uh, by the Emu Man, and we bought one of his prints. Um, the guy is really nice, really sweet, and his art is really beautiful and depicts how wonderful is the outback. We had an amazing day, mainly because we didn't have to do as much driving. I think a total of about, maybe about an hour and a half at most. And we also met a friend. Speaking of which, where is he? He owes me a beer. <laughs> After Pro Heart, we drove to Cole so that way we could buy some dinner for tonight and for tomorrow, because tomorrow we are going to sleep in another national park. With that being said, you don't want to miss next video because I'm pretty sure it's going to be really, really beautiful. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment, and see you next time. Whee! Hey! Whee! <laughs> Whee! Yeah, we got it. Cool. I think that the artists were really inspired by just the landscapes of Broken Hill, of this hill, of this symposium. I don't know what I'm saying. So Kevin Pro Heart Gallery was definitely a spot to stay at. Spot to stay at, yep, that's, that's what we did. So Kevin Pro Heart was, for about 20 odd years, was a minor, but underground and not underage. <laughs> oh my God. He wasn't underage his entire life. <laughs> Moving on.